Temporomandibular joint disorders is subclassified as a secondary headache disorder that affects more than 25% of the general population, while 85 to 95% of the population will exhibit one or more temporomandibular disorder symptoms in their lifetime. Chronic cases may lead to depression, poor sleep quality, and low energy, as well as negatively affect social activity and employment. While the etiology is multifactorial, including psychological factors, most symptomatology is due to hyperactive and dysfunctional musculature. The temporal mandibular joint is a complex synovial hinge joint that allows for depression and elevation of the mandible, as well as a gliding action, mostly via ipsilateral temporalis masseter and the medial lateral pterygoid. The temporal mandibular joint has an articular disc which cushions the mandibular condyle and the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone and is secured by the temporomandibular and sphenomandibular ligaments. Clicking and popping, which occurs in the temporomandibular disorders, may be due to abnormal motion of the articular disc in the joint space. OMT may be an effective conservative first-line treatment. Utilizations of muscle energy techniques on mandibular myofascial attachments and articular dysfunction, among other forms of osteopathic diagnosis and treatment, may reduce pain sensitivity, inflammation, and restore oral motor function. One technique that may be utilized is unilateral temporomandibular joint dysfunction muscle energy, which can specifically target the muscles of mastication. With the patient supine and physician seated at the head of the table, begin by diagnosing a unilateral temporomandibular joint dysfunction by instructing the patient to slowly open their mouth, observing which side the mandibular symphysis deviates toward. Restricted motion of the joint via multiple muscles will result in mandibular deviation to the side of the restriction. To begin treatment for restriction of the right temporomandibular joint, the physician's left hand will support the left side of the patient's head, while the physician's right index and middle fingers contact the lateral aspect of the right mandible. After instructing the patient to slowly open their mouth, the physician engages the dysfunctional barrier by applying a lateral pressure to the left with the right hand as soon as the mandibular symphysis begins to deviate. The physician will simultaneously apply counterforce with the supportive left hand. Once the barrier is engaged, the patient is instructed to push the jaw to the right against the physician's force, and then they will hold contraction for three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The patient should then relax for two to three seconds. The physician will then engage the new barrier by increasing pressure and moving the mandible further to the left while the patient resists for a count of one, two, three, four, five and relax, taking up any slack and repeating for a count of one, two, three, four, five. This can be repeated as many times as necessary to feel a release. To reassess, have the patient slowly open their mouth, assessing if the mandibular symphysis tracks midline. Muscle energy techniques can safely be used in many patient presentations, but is contraindicated in patients with suspected fractures, avulsion injuries, joint instability, severe osteoporosis, open wounds or infections near the area, and patients unable to fully cooperate with the procedure. A focus on improvement of the biomechanics of the temporal mandibular joint via improvement in the hypertonic musculature may be a helpful conservative component to the treatment of temporal mandibular disorders, allowing for improved motion and decreased pain and discomfort.